Hello you guys, Sun6 Gaming, one of you today, and today I am doing another snapshot, this is gonna be a short one, because there's really only like two thing, new things added, um, so yeah, it's a snapshot 15W32C, and uh, we're just gonna go into the end, because there has been another update to the Ender Dragon boss fight. Just gonna wait for it to download to the, the terrain, but yeah, basically there's a new uh, sort of potion, new form of potion, not an actual new potion, but like a new, um, I guess you could call a category of potion, because you've got the splash, you've got the longer potions, all that stuff, there's a new type of those. Um, but first we're just gonna check out some of the Ender Dragon's new moves, because it has a new projectile it can shoot. Um, I think it's called the Ender Dragon Fireball or the Dragon Fireball because I actually was curious about the slash summon and if I go type slash summon and do tap completion you can actually see some new ones in the list the Dragon Fireball the Spectral Arrow you can summon you can summon Tipped Arrow you can summon uh, Area Effect Cloud we'll get to that after this you can summon the shulker and actually the shulker bullets it's pretty interesting but yeah if we try to summon the dragon fireball it won't be able to summon the object so i feel like that's not exactly working yet but i'm gonna like uh be right back because i'm gonna give myself some resistance so i don't not die and i'm just gonna go in survival and i'll wait for him to do his attack so i'll be right back there he goes are you gonna do your dragon breath attack please Come on. I don't know what's... Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Um, so, I'm on my laptop and I've always got particles turned off on my laptop. But yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So, it might seem a little bit weird what I'm doing. But when he uses that dragon breath attack. And you click on it with a glass bottle. You fill your bottles with dragon breath. So, you've got dragon's breath in a bottle. And basically what you can do is that's how you make the new potion sword. You combine the original potion with Dragon's Breath. And for some reason he's staying on the fountain continuously. Okay, I just want him to shoot his new projectile as well. Uh, okay, come on. Hit me! Oh, there you, there you go. I uh, don't know if you saw it, might have to zoom in on it after editing. I don't know if it actually is there but yeah basically uh, I think I saw there it's like kind of a purple gas fireball and wherever it hits it leaves behind a cloud like this I think this one is just from an attack he just did uh, from the fountain yeah like that but basically it's that but then in a projectile oh look it landed here so yeah basically it just leaves the dragon breath there for a while when it hits so he's got a new projectile and you can actually pick up the dragon breath by using a glass bottle which is pretty nice. Now, to get rid of the dragon, because I would like to go back to the overworld, I don't feel like building my own portal, I'm just gonna give myself some strength. Okay, dragon, where are you? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna wreck your face in. As you can see. Oh, there, there's another one on top of the tower. So yeah, this can make it pretty obnoxious on the towers, because you're constantly in his damage when you're trying to break them, so yeah. That's actually pretty cool new attack, and yeah, just trying to fill the time till he's gonna land on here. Because as I mentioned in my last video, you can only kill him on top of the fountain. So, there we go. Come on, I just want to go back to the overworld, because I think that's a better place to demonstrate what I'm about to demonstrate. Here we go. So, we've got a bunch of dra dragon's breath. Uh, I showed you how you can get it, and to m with them we can make lingering potions so basically what lingering potions do at first i didn't understand but that was once again the problem of me not actually having my um thingy my particles on my thingy so yeah um let's say i get a lingering potion of invincibility invinc invisibility um and i throw it down it's like a splash potion you might say it just gives you the effect but here's the thing the thing it stays there for a little longer so you don't actually have as much of the problem as with a splash potion where i have to throw it right down at you and it has to hit you or where if you're further away from the potion you get less of the effect if you just throw it it just creates this 
huge area where the effect is given and it stays there for a while so that everyone can get the full effect from one potion basically everyone who runs through it and that's what the entity area of a cloud area of effect i think it was called is so yeah if i go summon area here area effect cloud um it does say successfully some don't see much though probably though so these will be summonable the special arrows will be separately sum or summonable the dragon fireball we can summon and we'll be able to summon area of effects for potions and that's actually pretty cool because then you can make in like pvp maps you can make these um things you can stand on or when you stand in a certain area you get this effect oh yeah yeah here we go you actually have to use any splash potion with this yeah if you just put a splash potion in the brewing uh, stand with a dragon's breath in there it will make it into a lingering potion so you actually have to make the splash first sorry that i didn't know that off the top of my head um probably gonna cut some of that out because it took i had to figure that out but yeah here you go and then we've got a lingering potion so yeah lingering potions pretty freaking useful um i hope that really soon in snapshots they're gonna add some commands i know that it's a combat update but like seriously they have always added commands since command blocks have been added and they already added some new summonable objects so that's already something but yeah i'm really hoping for some command block coverage really soon but i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time